All right, I'm here with Lynn Shelton and Rosemary DeWitt, and they are in reunited here a year ago for your sister sister, and here um, back again Sundance 2013 for Touchy Feely, another fantastic film with great characters and great acting, and so many questions I have. Um, but first of all, let me just start with you two. How has this been going with you guys? We're still speaking to each other. Yeah. Oh, it's a love affair. I mean, for, for me. You know. Yeah, for me too. Um, and it was a lot different than your sister. Sister, I don't know if you want to speak to that. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, it was really different. And I, I, <laughs> I felt so bad for you because instead of, you know, throwing her in to these scenes with these other actors and, you know, just all this fun, juicy, trying to find the dialogue that would get you through, the, you know, the beats of the scene, it was a lot of, you know, poor Rose alone. <laughs> Getting no, no more depressed, <laughs> no more depressed, you know. Um, no, could you just cry out of the, the left eye now on No cue, joke, you know, Because seriously. when you work with someone a lot, you know, she's like, she says, could you make the tear come down on this cheek? I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, Lynn, you're killing me right now. But, you know, and there was also <laughs> was this thing, too, of her going up to the makeup artist and no, make her look worse. No, no, she yeah. still looks too healthy. You know, so it was a little bit of that. And where your sister, sister, there was a lot more levity and one. whimsy and mm -hmm. sort of joy. But you were a trooper. You were I loved amazing. it. I loved working with you. Is it the same kind of, in, in this script, you play a massage therapist? It's a family drama. And what happens to you? You lose your massage therapist that can't actually touch anymore. Yeah, I develop a body yeah. repulsion. And yeah. then I can't not only do my job, but I'm having a hard time connecting to my boyfriend and mm -hmm. having some commitment issues. Mm -hmm. And so she kind of spirals into a little pit of despair. Now, was this, I know you do a lot of improv always, mm -hmm. right? Did you use a lot of improv in this as well? A little less. A little yeah, less. it was more scripted. It was, um, you know, the last few films I was really drawing on the input from the actors because I was coming for, to the project more of as a from a place of an observer or a sociologist, mm -hmm. you know, and I wanted to look closely at the way these people relate. Um, but but a lot of the territory was foreign to me. Um, and so I was asking for a lot of input, you know, um, from others. And this one was a film that sort of came from inside of me. So I really did sort of sit down in a room and write it all down. And then on set, I was, I was, I really wanted the actors to feel completely free, mm -hmm. you know, to diverge or lean, or you were describing when you see your, your fellow performers face, some expression on their face, you know, and you want to, sometimes wanna, you want to follow that follow impulse it. and you can do it when, with Lynn's movie, mm -hmm. you know, it's not yeah. like you're taking us completely off course, you know, you mm -hmm. can be like, what was that? No, why did you, you know, and it's, especially in the scene with, um, Josh, Josh the because I think we sister. only really have one real sort of mm -hmm. two-person scene. That was a little bit more improvised. Yes, yeah. Um, Some of the scenes, in the kitchen. yeah, it varied. Yeah. I think last year when we were talking about your sister's sister, Lynn had said it was about uh, eighty percent improvised and twenty percent scripted. And I think you could flip the ratio for this movie. Mm -hmm. So it's about eighty percent scripted, with a little bit of wiggle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. All right, girls. Well, All I right. love it. I can't wait to see what's next. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Have a great festival. Thanks, thanks so you. much. Right. You too. Thanks.